Hello there and welcome to Satisfactory, yet another game of landing on a planet and having to forage and make stuff. <laughs> There's a little bit of a theme developing here. I have held off playing this in specifically until it was fully released, so we'll give it a go. Um, sounds like they've made a lot of the changes that I was wanting them to make, so that's good. <laughs> in terms of making things a little bit more diverse, adding in a little bit more point to the game, apparently there is a story of sorts that we may or may not engage in. We'll find out. Explore and exploit. Fixit selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. Yeah, okay. That is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Fix it. Short term solutions to long term problems. Alright, so they tease a little bit of something of maybe there's some things going on behind the scenes. <laughs> Atmospheric entry in three. You're trying to two, subver subvert one. the program. Beginning arrow assist. Drag within acceptable parameters. Okay. Landing phase begun. Activating retro propulsion. Oh. Touchdown. Planet fall complete. Drop pod integrity nominal. Omni situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer. Acceptable. Why, thank you. I'm glad that I'm acceptable. You are the third in your region to survive Planetfall. Hey. Welcome to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. Okay, so we've got... Funny... Objective -based thing with bad proportions. Begin onboarding. We've got... There was the Manta flying around, the improbable-sized flying thing. First contact safety tool supplied thing. due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere to Fix-It procedure and equip the Fix-It Inc. Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Xeno Zapper, eh? Is that something I need to grab, or...? I want to be able to just, like... Okay, I can double-click it. Sometimes it's right-click, sometimes it's left-click. Dismantle the drop pod. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. <laughs> and also, then you have no way of. Oh, you gotta hold. Okay. Next objective use the resource scanner to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub. If you cannot find iron, be assured ding, ding, scans ding, ding, of the planet ding, ding. have revealed sufficient iron sources. 378. 270 something seems to be the closest. Yeah, this is the big mentor thing. What are you guys? Barrel nut. Nut. Potential edible collected. Eating it and surviving does not count as a valid field test and does <laughs> not generate enough data for fix it to make an informed decision. Says you. Store this potential resource for later use. I don't like your attitude, computer. What are you? Or berries. Potential edible collected. If oh, consumed before authorized as compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences. Store this potential resource for later use. Oh, you're a bird. Okay, go. I thought there was some sort of weird fruit. Unknown crystalline mineral collected. This mineral is composed of the same chemical Unknown. elements as quartz and may yield similar industrial functions. Surely you know what it is. Store this potential resource for later use. Just grab a few things, why not? We're gonna need some stuff, right? Where was my... iron? 160. Am I sprinting? No. I should be sprinting. Should be sprinting. Yeah. I want to go up there. 
I have set the creatures to be passive because I just cannot be bothered being bothered by creatures all the time. Okay, here's some iron. Next objective. Use the build gun to construct the hub. Iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress, so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. Huh. I love how they call the build gun. Not build tool. Build gun. Just immediately exposing you to a rather um aggressive playstyle, should I say? Well, I think this is where they expect me to put my base, don't you think? Grab some more berries. I wonder what other foods there are. This thing's all I've had so far are some berries and nuts. Um, oh, we do have a compass automatically. I love that. I don't appreciate games that drop you into this sort of scenario without even so much as giving you a compass. Because like, that's the most basic thing that you should have. Subnautica kind of made sense in the first one because you crashed. <laughs> you weren't expecting. It was an emergency evacuation. You weren't expecting to have to leave. Okay, so it doesn't matter about rocks. I assume the rocks and bushes and stuff just going to get removed. Actually, I should check first. Should I... Okay, I can't collect you, but I can pick up the leaves. The plant, I wonder whether or not it would respawn. So we want to make sure that we're not do that. Not quite. Oh, that was hub actually closer than I built. thought. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer. Hub upgrade one. What do we need? Oh, we get another hand equipment slot. We get what? An extra hand? Waiting for resources. Iron rod. Okay, so I need a. First, I need to make an iron rod. Iron rod. Can't afford recipe. Oh, we need to first turn it into ingots. Okay, that feels like an unnecessary intermediary step, but sure. Then we just gotta hold it down for a bit. Right, how many iron did we need? Was it 10? I want to be able to just click and have it be there immediately. I'm sorry game, I don't appreciate this sort of immersion. Can I just double click? I have to drag it, do I? Cry on. That's like three different ways of interacting with things. <laughs> Congratulations on completing your first milestone. The first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the fix oh, admission. That split stacks. Next objective. Complete hub upgrade two. Oh, it says it all down the bottom instead of when you mouse over things. Okay, now I get you. Alright. So we can just control click. That's good. We'll keep the quartz on us. We'll keep the leaves on us. And we'll keep the wood on us for now. But we'll put the berries away. I don't think I'll need them just at the moment. So equipment workshop now. We can make the portable miner. Which I'm going to guess it wants me to use next. Oh, it doesn't automatically get that. I need to place that. Do I? Oh yeah, so it's a separate thing. Oh, we need the materials. We can't just place the blueprint and fill the materials. Ah, okay, see that's the thing I loved about Lightyear Frontier. Is that you could... Mark out the blueprint and then commit the materials to it later. This is such a weird way of interacting. This is very unaccessible. <laughs> I should just be able to click something once and it should make the thing that I want. Uh, was it six rods and four plates or four plates and six rods? Just double check. Six plates and four rods. Okay. Oh, I need another. Th okay, it's a three to one on that one. All right. The fact that I'm trying to not get it going on to the next one. And it just does that instead. It's like, ah. Oh, that's really, really annoying. Just let me click it and let it happen. Honestly. That'll do. 
across the flowers. Oh, and then it automatically wants me to build another one. Yeah, that's that's always fun. I should just be able to deconstruct that and move it whenever the hell I please as well, right? I could actually build it off the back here, couldn't I? Uh, what was it to deconstruct? F. There we go. Uh, dismantle. Does it, like, snap? At all? No, it doesn't. It doesn't snap at all. That's kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Alright, whatever. Equipment. Weapons. I've already got one of those. Portal miner. I, I can't even make out what that is until I hover over it. It's way too faded. Four rods, two plates. And that requires three of each. So another ten rods, basically, is the point. Uh, see, I should be able to select how many I want, and it should just take as long as it takes to make them. This is the crafting in Icarus feels so much nicer than this. Okay, and then plates. Okay. The fact that it didn't snap across. Like, have it take a certain amount of time. Don't make me have to hold my finger down to do it. <laughs> The fact that it wouldn't snap, so I have to either jump across or have this little bump bit bugs me unnecessarily. <laughs> Alright, so this is where we need to use our portable miner, presumably. Right. Impure, apparently. Rock and stone place down a portable miner. Brilliant. Well, you're cute. <laughs> now, how quickly do you get things? 20 per minute. How much does it hold would be the other question, I guess. Well, that's 20, so we can get started on things. Yeah. I'm glad I turned down the volume of things like this because this noise would get very 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 tedious very 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 quickly why does it take three to go ore to ingot and then just one to get an ingot into a rod whatever that's all of those now eight plates which means 24 cool I'm gonna be able to build stairs and stuff at some point. <laughs> okay, ingots first once again. I'm gonna get a sore finger, that's for sure. This is not good for people with like tendon issues and stuff like that. I should check the accessibility settings and see if it's there. Just a click to craft option. Oh, I did way too many, did I? Oh, each one makes two. That's the bit that I didn't realize. <laughs> okay. And then nine rods is not very useful. Maybe so I could do six rods. Because I'll use rods for stuff as well. There we go. Upgrade hub. Whoa, okay. And then no animation, power no cutscene. Just completed. bam. The smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fixit technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation <laughs> of your yearly bonus. Next objective complete hub Let's upgrade on three. Okay, so now we start needing copper as well. Same sort of thing, plates and rods, and more copper. Sure, we'll pin that, just for the sake of it. Uh, so, we're probably going to want to make another miner for copper, aren't we? I think that's what it wants us to do. Now, is it V? Copper ore. Huh. 
117, and that's the closest. All right. Well, let's go foraging. I can also just grab some more leaves and stuff for the biomass thing. Do you get to grow things yourself in the future, I hope, rather than just ruining what's here? Oh. My sense of um, distance is very off. Okay, so this is where I'm supposed to have to deal with the hostile wildlife. But I have them set to passive because I can't be bothered. There we go. This is a normal one, not even an impure one. Alright, so that should do better. 40 per minute. Ooh, very nice. And it's already begun even though the animation hasn't actually started yet. Okay, well we've got a bunch of stuff and it's not too far to come back to later. I think maybe space bar? Oh, for crafting? Ooh. I'll give that a go, thank you. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Oh, it does say craft space. Craft hold left, but I'm not looking down here because I'm expecting it to be up here. That's a, that's a me fail. And then, yeah. Needs to be like craft and then auto craft maybe? Because I just figured I was going to have to hold down space as well. But no, I don't. Excellent. Okay, that makes things a lot more pleasurable. Means you then kind of lose the direct control over stopping it in time, but you just... Generally, I think you're just going ham, regardless. I do want to have, like, a, a number indicator. So I could say, I want to make 20 of these, and then press space and have it just do it. <laughs> because that's all I need at the moment, I think, isn't it? Yeah, 20, 20 cable is all I need at the moment. Hey, got it halfway. <laughs> uh, and let's go grab some more iron. There's a lot there now. At least the stacks just seem to stack up infinitely. Are you, are you a better one? No, you're both impure. Okay, so I guess the idea is that you can place two of those down and have the same production as a normal one from two impures. All right. I don't think ore is useful in its kind of native form for anything, so we'll just do full ingot on there. Again, this is where I really liked the Icarus style of doing things, where most of the time you could just queue up what you wanted and then just walk away and it would just make it for you at the bench or whatever. Yes, it's not realistic that you're not having to stand there the whole time to look at it. But, like, I can't just walk away from this and let it finish what it's doing. That I can tell. I have to stand here and watch it. Yeah, because if I do that, yeah, it stops it. It's just two different gameplay styles, I guess. One, you've got full kind of immersion, I guess, interactivity. This one wants you to be involved in every step of the process. But then the funny thing about that is then your ultimate goal is to automate everything and have everything do it for you. So it's like, it's intentionally making it painful to encourage you to do that. Whereas Icarus is more just the kind of, let's just be kind on the player. <laughs> so we need it. 20 of these total, and 20 of these again total. This is harder to stop exactly when you need it to. There we go. <laughs> Later it's supposed to feel nice. Yeah, I guess. But I get it, to an extent. To me, the, the nice part about... Level upgrade 3, interior we'll furnishing talk. completed. I didn't even go inside. <laughs> simple parts and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid. When you make the inevitable mistake, fix its dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources <laughs> used during construction in line with our zero waste policy. We understand that fix it pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next objective complete hub upgrade 4. 
<laughs> what do you reckon, guys? <laughs> Bobblehead. I uh, love it. I don't think I'm meant to know about those yet. I feel that that should be something you unlock after you collect the first one of those. Golden nut. Yeah, to me, the attraction of automation in these sorts of games is generally more um, just convenience. Like, just because you want things to go faster because you need to make so many more things at that point and that's more the attraction of it not because the initial experience was super painful <laughs> all right there we go i was expecting that to be an achievement <laughs> oh i do love this though uh what was it for photo mode <laughs> Options, controls, no, key bindings, where's... Am I blind? Photo mode, P. Okay. There we go. I kind of want time to stop when it goes into photo mode. That's nice. Very, very pretty game, I'll give it that. And it is a lot more open than Icarus as well. That's the other attraction. Some of the gameplay things may be, in my opinion, worse, but I do get at least the uh, the setting is a lot more open. All right, hub upgrade four. I feel it should just pin that automatically, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to need to make some cable and some concrete. So that means I need limestone, I believe. Yes. 100 meters away. Ah, it's almost like that they expect this to be your starting area. <laughs> See, that's great and all, but I do want to climb up here. Actually, can I climb up here yet? It's probably a little bit too far. No? I can pick up wood from all this as well. It looked like there was a little bit of a... Oops, fell down. A little bit of a platforming segment. So we need it to be like a 2D side scroller instead. <laughs> we do jump a fair way. Oh, I, uh, I didn't sprint. Ow. I need a sprint and jump. Auto sprint. Oh, I hate the momentum as well. I mean, I understand the momentum. It's realistic. It's unlike. But it does let you turn in the air still, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, you can still move a little bit of air, air movement. Ah, where am I going? Have I mentioned before that I suck at platforming? That's a very interesting looking moon. <laughs> That's no moon. Okay, so I think I'm going to need to run and jump there. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I think I'm past the worst of it now. And what are you? A Mercosphere. Is something bad going to happen if I grab this? The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain melted state spheres are named in his honor. That's hilarious. So it's uh, Mercer Sphere, DM Mercer, and the achievement was I'm sure these play a critical role. Fantastic. Okay, someone's a fan, clearly. That's brilliant. I love that. Um, we only took like two bars of health damage. Yeah, full damage is not a big deal, and health automatically regenerates, so I'm going to abuse that. <laughs> Right, uh, what else did we need? None of that. We needed a bunch more wire, because we then need to make a bunch of cable. Only 20 for now, but I'll probably need more. And that's exactly what I have, so that's good. And then I need 75 iron plates now. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> 
Will that go down after I put these in? Yes. Good. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, we should put the sphere in here for now. Not actually using it. So we need a lot more iron, but this will have a lot more. Okay. Max is out of the hundred. Good to know. So that's the other thing with the automation, which makes sense. It's like the automation is you fill up on those sorts of things. So you need some sort of process to be able to remove it. So you don't get full. That's where that comes into it. 100% on board with that. This bit, not so much. <laughs> Especially when you need 75 of something and you don't yet have the ability to have that be automated. Build some other buildings. Yeah, I think some some did unlock, didn't they? What do we got there? So that's where you need the conveyor belts. I don't have conveyor belts at this point. Yeah, can be automated by feeding component parts in via a conveyor belt. And then automatically extracted. And there's the smelter as well. So those are great, but I don't see conveyor belts yet. But I guess that we can feed stuff in so that it can do it for us. So I need some more copper. I mean, this will be full over here, so I should go gather that. This is basically the complete opposite gameplay loop and experience as Planet Crafter was. Because in that, I felt that I could, like, most things just did things by themselves. And then I would just chip away at things manually over time. And every now and then I'd come back and do a little bit of base busy work, but it didn't feel like it was as required. This, the base busy work is the game, which is why I've sat on this for a while. Because that's less my speed, generally. So, smelter, we should probably put... What are we going to want to use most of it? Are we going to want to use it for copper mostly? Or iron? And we need to be able to power it. Which is what the biofuel here is for. So as soon as we start using this stuff, of course, then we've got to start gathering stuff for our biofuel as well. Is there a grid thing? says like snap hold left control for snap mode but nothing is snapping okay so it doesn't base things don't snap together it seems that's right chuck you down there and then for constructor i need what are you reinforced iron plate okay so i need 12 screws for that um oh you make screws from rods good that's handy. So I've got that then. I'll just make all of these because I'm then putting some off to the other side anyway. Okay. So that and then five more cable. Okay, I'm going to need cable and stuff for power is the other thing. So what do we got? Power pole? Power line. Yeah, so power line is a cable. So we want to connect from there to there. Good. Oh, that immediately starts drawing power, even though this isn't doing anything yet. Can we turn you off? <laughs> okay, so... So select recipe first. Do that. And then... We can feed it in manually. There we go. Right. So this is the bit that I was impatient about. I was expecting to be able to do that at the crafting station for convenience. It wants you to use the actual thing. Which makes sense. Well, kind of. Still a little bit annoying. Um, I can't feed things in there via conveyor belt yet, but that will come later. Right. Things are starting to sound very Victorian now. <laughs> so, now from there, we do we want to allow a bit more room, I think, probably, actually, in terms of the constructor. So let's just go this side, because I want it to be lined up on my base. I don't know how tight the angles have to be for... Um, is that the right angle? Yeah. Uh, for conveyor belts and stuff, I don't know how tight they have to be. Because presumably I'm going to need a second smelter to do copper from down there. 
And then I can feed them both into here, maybe? Okay, so concrete is what I'm going to want there. So I'm just going to have to feed the limestone in manually for that, which is fine. Uh, we could pick up one of our portable miners. Or we could just make another one. <laughs> And, I mean, while I'm here, we'll now just swap and just do copper. Because why not? Um, we need to put some more of you in, I suspect. Um, since I'm only just doing small run stuff for the portable, for another portable miner, I just need four rods. So there's no point doing that. Oh, this is now closed in. Oh, so I can't access the crafting bench from the other side now. That's a downgrade honestly. <laughs> that feels like a downgrade. Was it four or was it six? Four. Um, cool. So let's go get that limestone again. Uh, for now we're also just gonna select that and put ingots in there. Oh yeah, power. That would help. Power line in there to no empty power line connections. You serious? <sighs> power pole. I need. Okay, so power pole. Why doesn't it not just have a multi thing off there? That's really weird. Anyway, three wire, one rod. Oh, I need concrete for that too. Well, the other thing I can look at is how much of this is done, and just depower this for now. Oh, you can put it in standby. That's nice. Kind of want to just let it do it, though. I'll be waiting a whole minute if I do that. Standby. Okay, power line. I want to disconnect you. Can I disconnect you? How do I disconnect the power line? Dismantle? Power line. Okay. And then build power line to there. There we go. Hey! <laughs> Not the most efficient way of doing things, but never mind. Now, where the hell is that limestone again? I'm getting so distracted. 98 meters that way, alright. I should empty my copper as well, because this will be full. So will the iron, let's be honest. A hundred seems a very small thing, but then it is a very small thing, so that's fair. <laughs> There's a thing up on that ledge there too. Ouch. We seem to have pretty good boots for landing on. Oh, here's limestone right here, isn't it? Yeah. Sweet. That's not far at all. So we're going to have to expose the bit underneath. Oh no, there is no bit underneath. We just put our thing on this, I think. Ah. I didn't equip it. Oh, fuse blown. <laughs> Alright. One of you found... Okay, well it's not fuse blown because it hasn't over... Um, been overused or anything. It's more just that it's run out of fuel. I'm aware of that. We'll pick up some leaves, hope they grow back. If they don't, oh well. I should have just picked up all of the leaves on that outcropping. Would have made it easier to climb. <laughs> Never mind. I should probably make another portable miner to put there as well, but I'm kind of holding off on the idea that I'll get a static miner anyway. Alright, let's feed a bunch of leaves back into here, and some wood. Oh, we can't do two at a time. Alright. You say idle. Are you not doing it? Oh, I, I do have to go. Bonk. <laughs> okay, I kind of appreciate that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Fix a blown fuse. Fun. So I feel that it's less that it was... Uh, blown fuse per se? Wait, what happened there? Oh, it only has two now. Okay, that's good. 
That's good timing, actually, because we want to put some of that in here. Oh, we're not going to be able to make much, though. Right, so we've got to go all the way back down to our limestone. We should have grabbed more ourselves, I guess. But you should now have a bit more in. Good. What's the quickest way down? There's like a ramp over here. Oh, but that goes quite a far away. I think probably the way I went up last time is probably the quickest, to be honest. Yeah. And we can just stop past the iron again each time. Let's go here, grab all. Boing, boing, boing. Over here, drop off all that. Alright, noisy, noisy manta ray. Forage some more of these, kind of clear the area, I'm going to need to anyway, let's be honest. At least they have you immediately do like biomass instead of cold or something. I'm sure that comes later. <laughs> Alright, we can start picking up this concrete. And then, what more do I need? I needed a rod and three wire. So, a rod, and three wire. Cool. And then I've got most of the plates I need here as well already, don't I? Oh, one more. Alright. Uh, but I don't have... Oh, I have all the ore on me. Ah, well I'm getting there because the next thing after putting down the power pole is to fire up the smelter again. Okay, so we can put this down around here, hopefully. And then we need to deconstruct the power line. And then connect from there to here, from here to there, and from here to here. That's not even going to the place I expected it to, that's just clipping into the middle of it, but that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> now we can dump all of our... Well, we can just put this off standby. And put all of our copper ore in here. Okay, it can only hold a hundred at a time. And we've got iron to swap onto as well. Actually, honestly, we probably want to stop that and do that instead. There we go. So, kind of swap speeds. And we can deal with some of the other stuff ourselves anyway still. We can just come in here and do that to be able to make the plates that we need. That, and then tin concrete. So we need three more concrete, but this should have done that by now. Yup. Good. Uh, if we then put that on standby, does that reduce its power drain? Hopefully. <laughs> um, wrong place. There. And boom. Upgrade hub. What are you doing this time? Hub upgrade we have four. A second story. Landing platform and utilities completed. Conveyor belts connect the output hey, of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents, I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. <laughs> there like is that. nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. <laughs> you idiots. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective, <laughs> complete hub upgrade 5. Uh, I love the sass. 5. Why doesn't it just remove these? <laughs> Storage container that you can then put conveyors into. Oh, there's the actual miner mark one. So we have the conveyor belts to connect buildings, but we don't yet have the miner that outputs it yet. That comes next. Alright. So, well, we can start off those. So that's a good bit. Rods I don't mind making myself necessarily. Uh, we're gonna need to get more limestone. Oh, yeah, we actually completely ran out. That's right. Okay. I'm not sure if I need more copper yet. You, I have a lot 
already going. That's a good amount of ingots. I appreciate that. Good work. Up to the copper. Take it all. I actually have a ton on me already, never mind. Purely did so out of habit because it's on my way. Well, not really, but it's part of my Rezus. Rezus? Resource loop. Yes, Rezus. The second coming of the Greek god. I haven't figured out how I'm supposed to exit out of a menu cleanly yet. I keep opening like the PDA view. Let's experiment with this miner. Don't take that out of context. Grab that and then see so right clicking doesn't do it. Oh, click the X you idiot. There you go. <laughs> that would do it. That would do it. So, uh, let's take that out, put that there. Will it be intelligent enough to figure out if I just give it copper ore? No. Okay, you do have to sleep. It'd be nice if it figured out, okay, I'm giving you copper, start making copper. <laughs> Oing. Fire you back up. How are you going? You've just run out. Have some wood this time. I just suspect you've probably got a bit more density. Hopefully. Well. Um, I don't... I can pick up leaves, but I can't chop down the tree. I probably need something else for that. That's fair. We get a little bit of wood when we just grab some of these anyway. That's fine. I'm going to be needing this area for another smelter at some point. Okay, so we now have the conveyor belt, which takes plates each time. Alright, so we need a lot of plates. Now, let's make a ton of rods. So now that the iron has been processed, at least it gets that bit out of the way. And then we just make a ton of rods. At least it's just one to one. Could be worse. I'm holding space when I don't have to. <laughs> it's just instinctive of what I feel that I should have to do. Alright, I went one too many again, that's fine. Uh, we, we want all these plates as I did. One too many for it to be even, that's annoying. If in doubt, just make a couple more. Uh, cables, so I'm going to need a ton of wire. So I, I'm processing copper, but I already have a bunch. So that's fine. And I can see how many cable that I can make as I do this. So once I get to 46, if I get to 46, then I can stop. And wire is just something that's good to have on me anyway, let's be honest. So we'll go a bit over. And now we'll just make 50 of those. Right. You. Done over here take all of these out yeah I oh just in time <laughs> upgrade hub Long. now do I get upgrade more power fire. power expansion completed the miner unlike portable miners can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function caution as you expand, the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your power grid. No kidding. The onboarding program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planetfall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within five to seven workdays. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. Okay, so it, we pull out a portable miner to turn it into a big miner. That's fine, I guess. And either way, I mean, it just produces more and hopefully has a bigger capacity? Dunno. Maybe it doesn't have a bigger capacity. Let's go empty this and pick it up. So, grab, pick up miner. And then we need to equip it. Because I want to put this down here as part of... Missing portal miner. Oh, because I equipped it? Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. There we go. Okay, now. 
Let's make sure that the conveyor belt is facing the way... That's... It's right by a cliff. Is that a problem? That's lined up pretty nicely, though. It's almost like that's what they expect you to do. <laughs> okay. Now, the problem is that will need to be powered. So what I actually should have done is make a second portable miner, so I'll always have a supply of iron regardless. So let's deal with that. Because otherwise, if I don't have power, I don't have iron. And I always want to at least have some available. Uh, but first I need some ingots. Which I should actually get my constructor to do. But it's currently unpowered because I don't have a steady way of creating lots of stuff yet. That made sense in my head. Uh, and then roll. Cool. Should move my equipment one over here perhaps, so that way it's more... I mean, originally I had put it here, which is probably a better place for it. Maybe we do that now. Does it flower ever get berries back again, or is it just dead now? That would make sense. Equipment workshop. Approaching another object's clear. Oh, it's around the wrong way, that's why. Okay, and then it actually has a door out the back, which is nice too. So if we put this, like, here, then we can pop out the back to... I really wish it, like, merged in somehow. That'll do. So I want the roof to connect. I don't think it rains in this game, but... Just in case. Okay, now we make the portable miner. So that way, we always have that. I love that it's self-powered. Does it have like solar panels on top? It doesn't show how it's powered, but we just trust that it's always powered. So that's nice. <laughs> and that's the thing, we've got five for that. The smelter is four, so that's nine. And then this is four. So that's 13. And I think this has a capacity of 20. Oh, maximum consumption. Oh, on this grid rack. Right, gotcha. We've put that in. Production, I think, is 20. Yeah, capacity is 20, yeah. But it burns it regardless, I think. Whether or not it's really using everything or not, I feel that it just burns the same, which is kind of annoying. Um, let's do that. Mess those together. So we've got lots of copper coming out. More than we need, but that's fine. Uh, what do we need for conveyor belts? So we can connect that there and it just needs one. Oh, and then it just tells me how many it needs as we go. Oh, we just want to connect it straight up there. We don't even need a pole. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I'm just, I'm just brilliant. <laughs> I'm also humble. <laughs> can I connect from here all the way down to there? Yes, perfect. I love it. Alright. So that's going to feed into this, but it's set up to do copper currently. <laughs> and I'm going to be feeding it iron. Yep, here comes the iron, which it's going to refuse. So we need to come in here and pull this out and select iron. And then you're going to start just getting iron. There we go. And then we need a storage container. And then it's just going to back up at some point. So I need eight rods, eight plates. We'll just work through the raw ore that we have manually, I guess. There we go. Oh, and there's the fuse. 
And that means we need to put some wood in. And now every time that happens, we're just like stressed because this is backing up. <laughs> so now it just becomes a stressful game. We're going to have to actually be organized. Ew. Well, we've got some leaves. But this is set up for currently. Oh, there's two now. I, I completely miss that there's two now. And this one's not even connected. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Those are all connected to there, and this doesn't have an extra thing off it. We can chain poles together, right? Shortly. Right, let's make some more wire. Yep, there it goes again. Oh, I guess this won't back up because that stops too, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Power pole. Go there. And then the power line we connect from there to there. And then we're going to dismantle this one. And we're actually going to connect from here to here. So that way we have redundancy. And then from there to there. So that's, yeah. So we've got two things going now. To share the load, Mr. Frodo. So we can put wood in there, crank that on, leaves in there. Feels kind of bad because again, we're not really at the level that we need that much stuff, but, you know, whatever. Um, so what else do we need for that storage? One more rod. Doesn't feel that useful doing stuff in here at the moment. Um, let's just do that so I can start working on those plates at least. Storage container. Can we just like, oh, we need to have a little conveyor just slightly. That's kind of annoying. So I was going to try and do it on like a little angle or something. Yeah, I'm going to have to move the constructor further away. I'm fairly sure. To allow for turning room and stuff. Conveyor from... Oh, I need iron plates for that. Well, that's what you're doing. Thank you. And there we go. Conveyor there to there. Nice. And then you have a lot of capacity. Excellent. And then, yeah, technically we can then have stuff come out the other side, but I don't know how you set what comes out the other side unless it's all the same thing being in here. Because technically you can, like, merge conveyor belts and stuff, I think. Oh, and then there we go again. And now we don't have any power to put into it. Hey, the conveyor belt keeps running though, so that's fun. Seems the conveyor belt just doesn't need power. But as soon as it runs out, then it will. We really need to be able to grow something <laughs> in order to keep these going. I mean, 12's the capacity at the moment anyway, so that's fine. I'm not even going to bother firing up the other one at the moment. I'll only do that when I need to. Right, I haven't even looked at what I need for this. Independent biomass burner. Which does have a conveyor belt input. And we get the space elevator. Right, and then we start all the tiers once we get the space elevator going, right? Okay, oh, we need to get more limestone. Interesting. Resource consumption will automatically be... Bleh. Doesn't let me know. That's fine. Do that. We'll learn about that when the time comes. So let's just put in what we've got and then learn what we need. Alright, so we need a lot of those iron plates, which is exactly what we were getting this guy to do. So that's a good start. Then we will also want a lot more limestone. 
Let's put those in there for now. Let's go grab limestone. Which honestly would be the better thing to have the big miner doing really, but it is a bit further away unfortunately. It's a little bit less convenient. But I feel that this is actually what you really need. Oops. Do a little bit of manual mining as well, just to double dip. I do like that it varies the strokes and stuff that it does. I appreciate that. Right. Do multiple miners work on one thing? Probably. I just don't need that much stuff. The animation has the going down right in the center though, so I'm not sure. Not relevant currently, I don't think. Just keeping that going every little bit at a time. Uh, concrete, we want to set up the... While the constructor has power, we should set up this to make concrete instead. Because that's kind of the more annoying thing to make, I think. Okay, we're going to need a lot more wire too. Let's grab some of those ingots out. And so, we need a lot of rods. So let's just work on that then, I guess. Yeah, there we go. I don't have stuff to salvage the power grid at the moment. That's fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> that is honestly what I kind of feared slash expected is that it's like oh great we can set up the power network and stuff like that but then it becomes more effort than it's worth to curate it <laughs> so you end up just falling back to doing a bunch of stuff yourself anyway maybe if you were playing with multiple people then someone could be constantly gathering leaves and crap but i can't help but feel that solar power wind power that's where i think that uh planet crafter did a really good job where you started off with solar power or uh, started with wind turbines it kind of bothered me you never got upgraded wind turbines it was just the basic ones was all you got because obviously you want to be able to set up lots of things early on if you can in order to be able to then just have what you need when you need it so yeah, maybe you can just put down multiple portable miners on, like, the limestone, for example. So you go there and grab 200 at a time. I'm just making a ton of this, because <laughs> I know I'm going to need it. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. There we go. So still need more iron plates. You didn't get through that much, did you? That's a shame. Well, it's fine. I'll do it myself. Because <laughs> the time it takes to do these things... You kind of do the loop of the miners and they'll be finished anyway. Again, it probably gets smoother later once you find other sorts of things, but you really want renewable energy as early as you possibly can get it in a game like this. If the capacities will be lower, you'll need to build a bunch of stuff and maybe you still make it vulnerable on environmental conditions. Solar panels wouldn't work at night, for example, so you'd have to build, like, battery capacity for them or something. There's ways and ways of doing these things. And I think just for the sake of, I don't know, realism or nothing else, like, again, this, this one tries to be more interactive and realistic than some of the other simulator-style, well, arcade-style <laughs> games of this ilk. That I feel that they kind of then drop the ball a little bit on not having just some solar power right off the bat when you start. Because hey, it's, it's lovely clear skies at the moment. Boom. Once again, my play style with these sorts of things is a little bit different anyway. But uh, same as with like Planet Crafter wasn't going nearly as hardcore as I should have but the idea is that I don't really want to just tunnel down on tons of stuff and be extra efficient on things but yes the ideal playstyle would be as soon as you get portable miners unlocked make like 
six of them put down at least two on every node nearby so that way you can just yeah capitalize on that uh what was it that i was doing concrete oh upgrade you want to middle? Complete the onboarding process. Pop upgrade six. Landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Oh. Congratulations. Hello. You have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a Fixit pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements because a future with Fixit is a future with you. Tier one and two milestones are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. Uh, this is where you get conveyor mergers and splitters and stuff. Field research. Ah, oh, a map. I want that. <laughs> I want that one. Now I need a lot of screws. Yeah, now's where things really ramp up. And you really want to solve your power process 